Gladiator key fob and engine cover mods. How they doing? Morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. Let's take a look at the key fob and engine cover mods that I've done to my Jeep Gladiator. Now, I gotta say, first of all, do you guys still get excited over these simple little mods? I do. Every little thing I do is still exciting to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I love this stuff. Anyway, first of all, let's take a look at the key fob mod. You know, this is the original key fob, right? has this little knife-like thing that always comes out and stabs me in the thigh when I have this in my pocket. Used to drive me nuts, and it's kind of big, too. Now, it is kind of cool. I mean, it's like a switchblade, right? You just, whoosh. I mean, that's kind of neat. I kind of dig that. And it also says Jeep on the back, albeit in chrome. I don't know. But I decided to mod this thing. I actually replaced it with this version. This is from AJT, by the way. And I went with the multicolored. You notice I have green. If you guys can see that, I'm not sure it's getting the light there. It has green on the back and then the goby on the front. And of course I did that to kind of match up with the green accents that I have on my Gladiator. Both the tow hooks here in the front and even on the engine cover and inside. Uh, but we'll get to that in a couple minutes. So how's this thing holding up? Well, first of all, you do see a little bit of wear on it right here in the front. You see this? That's probably from this piece wearing against it when it's in my pocket, to be quite honest. The buttons on it, eh, you know, there's a little like wedge inside in between the unlock and lock buttons. You can choose to leave that in or take it out. If you take it out, the buttons work a little bit easier. I chose to put it in because it came with the kit, to be quite honest. Um, it is rather stiff. I don't know if you guys could hear it. It does work just fine, but you do have to put a little bit more pressure on here than you do the old OEM version, right? It's not horrible, but it is noticeable. Um, otherwise, it has the same number of buttons on it set up in pretty much the same configuration as the original key, and it works perfectly. One side note, in putting this thing back together, I did have a bit of a problem trying to get the battery in there properly. It's a bit tedious. Other than that, I love it. Um, I much prefer it to the size of the OEM. You guys can see again, it's not hugely different, uh, but it is a little bit different. And yes, I do still find it exciting. It's the little things. I guess I'm easy to please. One further note, you do have to take the guts from this one and put it in this one. You no longer have the flip key like that. The key instead is actually housed inside this little panel right here. So you remove the panel, there's the key if you need it. Eh, not a big deal to me. Some people don't dig it, I don't really care. Now, let's take a look at this little engine cover mod. Okay, what I'm talking about here, if you look inside the engine bay, I did go ahead and paint the Jeep letters. Originally, I'd actually done them in red because I thought there was enough red in here uh, to kind of match up, if you would, but I didn't really like that. I didn't like the red. So I went ahead and uh, sanded them off and went with this green. And I gotta say, I really do like the green color in here. Uh, it kind of ties everything else together, right? We've got the green on the front here, as I showed you a minute ago. And then in the back, I have the green tow hooks you can see right there. And then I even went as far as to put or change rather the color of the badge here on the side to the same green. I think it looks awesome. Now, one further thing I did, I used the same color as what's on the engine bay on my Jeep lettering. We'll talk about those later. That hasn't been on there long enough to really do a fair review of, but the engine bay letters on the other hand have been on there for several months now. And of course it's subject to heat and cold recently. Uh, and it's held up just fine. Take a look at that. I think it came out really well. And again, I'm very happy the way that it's held up. Um, I did it with just paint pens. I'll leave a little link down below if you want to check out what I use to do it. But uh, I think it looks awesome and it's worn really, really well. Just gives you a little bit of character under the hood. So do I recommend these mods? Absolutely. 
Again, they're still very exciting to me. It's just a little thing sometimes. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the key fob mod. And if you've done it, how did you think the assembly of it was? And also the look underneath the hood. Something you'd do or just eh? Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two, that's DOS, other channels. The first is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And secondly, Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.